Hey guys, welcome into the Pucker Reborn channel. Today I'm going to teach you how to put mods into Battle Brothers. When I first started playing Battle Brothers, I went in and wanted to play the Legends mod when I heard about it. And I had no idea how to do it and I caused so many issues from my game itself. It kept crashing and having other issues because I was adding other mods with Legends mod and it was a mess. So hopefully if you're brand new, you have nothing, you have no idea how to add mods, this is going to help you out a bunch. It's going to fix your problem. So without further ado, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into Google. In the search engine, you're going to put in Nexus mods, as you can see up here. I'm trying to highlight it there. All right, so Nexus mods, you can see it right there. But either way, once you're at Nexus mods, just know you can mod any game. <laughs> this modding community is insane. And you can pretty much mod any game, or you can get any mods for games that you want. It doesn't have to be Battle Brothers, and it should work the same way. When you go to the, after you get to this page, you're going to go to the search engine and go to games. Then you're going to type in Battle Brothers. Now, I can tell you from personal experience, if you don't type in Battle Brothers fully just like this, a lot of times it won't come up. So be very accurate on the actual name. Then you're going to click on the Battle Brothers community right here. After you click in the Battle Brothers community, the first thing I'm going to teach you is when, you, you, when you're looking for a mod in particular, it's really great to go to, to more mods. You can go to um, latest mods, popular mods, all-time popular mods. Let's do that one first. And the first mod I want to download is this mod modding script hooks. I cannot tell you how important this mod is. If you plan on doing more than one mod, you need this modding script hook. Uh, you don't, if unless you know better, if you're very good at this stuff where you know that certain mods work together, it's not a problem. But I keep this mod because it keeps, it makes mods work together that wouldn't otherwise, uh, uh, that wouldn't otherwise. So what you're going to do is you're going to click into this mod scripting hooks. <clears throat> and everything should be laid out the same when you go into these. You can check out all of the files and, and what they have to say about them, how it works. This is not this is not common. This, you're gonna see other. Well, I'll show you another example in a second here. But you can also check on the requirements. This tells you all the mods that this works for, which is actually a lot of the main mods in general. So with that being out of the way, this is how we download it. You go to files, and you're going to go to manual download on the first one you see. All these mod hooks underneath that, the old files, these are all ones that have been updated, different versions. So the latest version is version 16. So we're going to go to manual download. And as we scroll down, you're going to see that there's two options. There's fast download, short, slow download. If you want to support everybody on this, on the Nexus mods, you can do this premium and pay extra money. That's up to you and I highly suggest it. But uh, otherwise, just go to slow download. So what this is going to do is it's going to download down here. As you can see, I did it earlier, had an issue with the recording, so I didn't do that. But here we go. So it's going to come across the bottom of the screen. So let's get, let's, oh, let's go back actually. If you don't know where to find this, it's in your downloads file. Or it's in your downloads on, on your PC. So what you're going to do here to find it though, is if you click on this arrow, you can go to show and folder. Now we can close this. Now as you can see, this is from today. This is what I've downloaded. And what we're going to want to do here is we're going to want to find where it has to go. And this is where people get the most tripped up. Uh, there was a guy who, well first off, I'm going to take this mod, I'm going to put it off to the side. Usually I pull it off to the side. You don't have to. If you know where it goes, whatever, that's fine. But what I do is I pull it off to the side and then this right here is where it needs to go at the end of the day. These are where it needs to, where you need to put the file. Now the reason I'm showing you this is because I want you to be able to see all the different files you need to go through to get to this. So starting out, you're going to go to your local disk C. Then you're going to go to your programs file. Now in the programs file, you're going to find Steam. <clears throat> From Steam, you're going to go to Steam apps. Then you're going to go to the common apps, Battle Brothers, and then data. If you need to pause the screen, this is what I this is why I'm showing it to you this way instead of going each one at a time. So that way you can see exactly what files you're going into. Now, with that being said, I'm going to show you now I will show you. Somebody else did this and I thought this was really effective. That's why I'm doing it this way, just if anybody's wondering. So I'm going to go to this PC. I'm going to go to the C drive. Okay? Then we're going to go down 
Just past it here. Went way too far. We're gonna go to program files. Not program data, but program files. This is mine uh, x86. And then after that, we're gonna go down to, where is Steam? There we go. And we're gonna go to Steam. Then after that, we're gonna go to Steam, Steam Apps. From Steam Apps, we're gonna go to Common. And then from Common, we're gonna go right to Battle Brothers. Then from Battle Brothers, we're gonna go into Data. Data is the final file. That is where you're gonna put your mods, okay? Now, what I did to make this really easy, because this is the one game I put mods in, like if I'm gonna use mods, I'm gonna use it on this game. I take this file, and I have saved it to my uh, quick, whatever you want to call it, my quick access, okay? That's something that I personally done. I wanted it to be, I don't know. I wanted it to be really quick to be able to get to. I ended up pinning it. So you can do the same thing, quick pin to access. You can do that right here. And that way you can switch mods in and out at any point. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this mod, and all I'm going to do, I'm grabbing it, and I'm moving it here. Boom. Now it's in the files. This is going to allow each one of these mods to work in unison. Okay, because I've had it where if I pull this out, the game will crash or there will be some other issues because these mods don't all work together. So really, that's, that's pretty much it. That's how you end up doing it. Anybody who has any questions or anything, uh, I will do my best to answer any questions that are brought up. Uh, I can help you through this process. I know it's kind of a pain in the butt if you don't know any better. Uh, another thing, too, like I said, when you pin it, that's where that's gonna make it the easiest for you to jump in and out instead of jumping through all these different file accesses but yeah that's it so thanks again guys for coming out to the channel please hit the like subscribe it allows people to see this content and being able to help other people please do that I appreciate it and I will see you in the next one bye